The Italians sure do like to do up the neighborhood on the feast days. I remember coming down to Little Italy once in the feast of San Gennaro, and we got some of these with some cappuccino, and it made me feel great all week. Oh! <laughs> Fabulous. Italians love to feel good and to make others feel good. And when they feel bad, boy, do they let you know it. Shouting and screaming and buckets of tears. Like all the family laundry hanging out a window in Naples. Or like the opera. Rain or shine, the Italians really know and love their opera. They can argue over the stars the way we argue over baseball. restaurant on 12th Street in Greenwich Village. It's a haven for the lover of Italian opera. It's been a Manhattan fixture since 1925. Most of the opera greats have come here and many are regulars. It's something like Sardi's Uptown where actors and writers wait for the first night reviews or the Brown Derby in Hollywood where some of the old time movie crowd hangs out. Pictures of the stars cover the walls here too. The difference at Asti's is that they don't just talk about opera. Along with the pasta and Chianti, they dish it out. <laughs> Oh, no. 
stars of tomorrow mix with the famous and unknown, joining in the fun. It's more the rule than the exception for a customer to take his place up on the podium, sharing his talent with the rest. For all of you and for the Mariani family, the best host in New York. A love song, L'Alma se para dalle luci l'ombra. Mariani, and in those days it was a speakeasy. Today his eldest son, Augusto, runs the place, presiding at the bar. Like his father, Augusto has a fine baritone voice, and he also has other ways of rattling the dishes. Fifty years ago, the only accompaniment was a pitch pipe, until Adolf finally did manage to rent a piano for $10. Now the regular pianist, Eddie Schick, shuffles an immense repertoire of arias, duets, and choruses. And waiters, doormen, hat-check girls, everybody sings. Thank <laughs> you. 
In 1934, Arturo Toscanini was a guest at Asti's one evening. The music was from Verdi's Il Trovatore. With a smile, Toscanini said, Dear friend, when you die, you'd better make a run for it, because Verdi will shoot you for making fun of Il Trovatore. On second thought, he may bless you for making a good living. originated from San Terenzo al Mare on the Gulf of Spezia, the northwestern coast, not far from the town of Asti, the champagne center of Italy. Nothing is more nostalgic or a prouder possession than the music of the old country. The music offered at Asti's is like a living memory of good times. It may present opera as opera never was, but nobody asks for more. It's a tribute from the new world to the best loved traditions of the old. artist this evening, beautiful dramatic soprano, her name is Galeotti Caffeggi, and she's going to sing from Cavalleria Rusticana, Voi lo sapete o mamma. Galeotti. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,
Next time you go to men's room, wash your hands. Figaro, 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 Figaro. Figaro at yourself, what a mess. I'm a boy, I'm a boy.
there is nothing brings it round like the trumpet's royal sound, like the trumpet's royal sound. <laughs> We are so grateful that you let us into your home tonight. It's just an incredible place. I'd really love to know how it all started. I'm, it's amazing. Well, my father started it uh, in 1924. My father was uh, aspiring to be a singer. He was sung at the Hippodrome and Russell Maggi. And uh, he sang uh, on the radio stations at the time. But in those days, it was, you know, tough to make a living just singing, so he waited on tables. Yeah. Well, it got to the point where, you know, he couldn't do both anymore. And his career wasn't really going leaps and bounds as he expected. So he said, why don't I open a restaurant and sing? This way I can sure you three yeah. times a day. Do you think that was a tough decision for him? Uh, yes, but I don't think so because he created an atmosphere we could sing opera, which he loved to do. Yeah. And he also liked the restaurant business and the meeting people every night. And it's, uh... Were you always around the restaurant when you were a child? And Yes. At the age of three, I was riding around on a tricycle, and then I became actually involved when I was in my teens. I used to come in and work during weekends. And did you sing when you were that yes. young? Yes. Yeah. I didn't sound that good. Oh, who did it? 16, are you kidding? <laughs> but uh, I kept at it, and my dad helped me a lot. I'm sure. And that's, uh, yeah, I've heard he was a wonderful singer. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Yeah. And he knew, he knew singing. How do you find your singers? They're well, all so wonderful. Most of them have been here quite a few years, and they're always uh, willing to hear, and people come down and sing for us quite often. And, and do they come and audition, actually? or Sort of. They come in, and they... Uh, Maybe for a meal, and yeah. <laughs> you convince them to get up sure. and Great. Ladies and gentlemen, we have in the audience tonight a very beautiful lady from the New York City Opera, star of Maria Suarta, Ashley Putnam. Let's join the team. Thank you. 
is Giuseppe Verdi is the father of Italian opera. He's the godfather at Asti's. So thanks, Giuseppe, for making it all possible.